Hi, this is Ray Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about astrology. That's right, today we are talking about Aquarius energy that runs from January 21st through February 20th. And this is an air sign, so this means that they're constantly in their head thinking, 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 thinking everything. They are visionary geniuses. They love to see things. And I guarantee you they have a way of looking at life that will just kind of like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you figured that one out. They love to kind of be that revolutionary energy for anybody. They are interested in social reform usually. Um, they love to make the world a better place. Um, and they have, aren't afraid of being like independent or not fitting in. They just have this natural, like, I don't care if I fit in or not. I'm going to do what I want. Um, <clears throat> I will say they also get really fired up um, about um, social causes and movements. Um, they're willing to kind of, they really do think outside the box. They're not ever in the box. They kind of make the box and then they learn about the box. So they are constantly moving forward. They're constantly, constantly moving forward in what has to happen and always thinking the next step, kind of like what comes up next? How do I do this? How do I do that? So that's one of their really great things. Um, I will say something they usually have um, clairvoyant as a gift because they have this insight into things. Like they can see it through their third eye of, <clears throat> I want to move the sofa from here to there. And they're like, oh, it won't work because of this. And you're like, how did you do that? That's one of their just innate gifts of just being able to see things and perceive things like that's not going to work. This is going to work or this will look better if you do this. They're able to see it through their mind's eye. Um, they practice really self-acceptance. Um, they find a lot of uh, inner strength and peace um, when they are working by themselves. Um, it's one of those, they, it's not that they don't like other people's ideas. It's one of those, a lot of times they'll find, uh, they'll find that out their own way, or they'll find a better way to do something than someone else would have done. And so it's kind of like, hmm, very interesting energy because it's not that they don't like people. It's one of those, they usually just like working by themselves and kind of working towards something themselves. But social reform, I will guarantee you, they will work with other people as long as it doesn't interrupt their schedule too much. Um, like I said, they have this fire or this passion about social causes and they're the ones that are out there on uh, the picket lines. Um, they're the ones that are kind of like, oh, we need to do something differently. This doesn't work. They're the ones that are kind of like the whistleblowers. They want to find out how we can change or modify this energy. They don't want to stay stuck in the same energy. Um, one of the things I will tell you that um, I find a lot about Aquarius energy is really interesting is if you tell them, okay, you can stay the same, but you're going to be in the same position in two years or five years, they'll be like, mm, no, I'll change. No, no, no. They love change in that perspective. They don't want to stay the same. Um, let's pull some angel cards and give us a little bit deeper insight into all things Aquarius energy. I have two on the bottom that are coming up. Power. They are very powerful and they love being on the side of power. Not that they're completely power driven, but I guarantee you they feel like they're strong. They want to influence other people and really kind of um, inspire others to make changes as well. New beginnings. They are the new beginnings. They love the new beginnings. They love that energy. And this is really um, Aquarius energy is where we always start our Chinese New Year is in Aquarius energy. And this is all about making changes, moving forward. And they love the new beginnings of that kind of those new starts. What else can we do? What else can we accomplish? What else can we take care of? Um, this is ideas and inspiration. They love, this is their card. This is Aquarius card, basically, because they love being uh, filled with ideas and inspiration and inspiring others and inspire themselves as well. They love that energy. They really, really do. I guarantee you they love that energy of inspiring themselves and others to do what's next, what's best, what's going on next. 
balance. Um, I will tell you that they do have a balance side of them that they will kind of shut down for periods of time and just kind of like, okay, I need to take a break. Um, I think it's part of that energy. They want to be part of that social change, but it's one of those being out in that energy too much can be overwhelming. So it's kind of like part of it is coming back and kind of um, taking care of themselves and kind of finding that balance of just what's next for me, where do I need to go, where do I need to put my energy, kind of like thinking about themselves um, in a very healthy way of what's coming up next. Um, body care. This is something um, they will take care of themselves. They will take that time off, um, kind of like that time off for good behavior. They will do it. They will take care of themselves in a lot of different ways and a lot of different activities. Um, but I guarantee you they move from one event to the next, to the next, to the next signs. Um, Aquarius has a lot of signs with them. Um, they love being that revolutionary energy. And so when you're around someone who's like that, I guarantee you they've got somewhere in their chart, big time, they've got some Aquarius energy. Of, I want to be the beginning. I want to know what's next and kind of like following those breadcrumbs and they know to success. It's going to be amazing. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon.